Whoa, what is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor and today we're going to be speaking about a highly requested video topic when should you sell your stocks? Now this is a video I've shied away from for a considerable amount of time and the simple reason is because nobody knows exactly when you should sell a stock or when you should buy a stock. Nobody whatsoever. If anybody knew exactly when to sell a stock they would undoubtedly be the richest person in the entire world. I mean, if somebody had this power that everybody wants, they would make Jeff Bezos look like some poor college student. But obviously that's not the video. I am going to try to give you some insight and when I do believe it can be a good idea to sell a stock. Because at the end of the day, we buy stocks in order to make money off them. And in order to actually make money off our stocks, dividends aside, at some stage we have to sell them. And that brings me on to my very first point of today. Not all stocks are bought equally, okay? Some people buy hype stocks or speculative stocks and they may plan to only own them for anywhere from one month to 12 months. And then there's the long-term investments, you know, somebody like me who buys J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson, and we want to hold on to them for literally decades, for 20, 30 plus years. So two very different investments, they're not really comparable, they both have very different time frames, and they should both be sold at very different times. So in today's video, I am going to try to give as much information as I possibly can, as what I believe to be a good strategy in regards to selling your stocks. So right before we get into the real info, can I ask you guys to please smash the like button, okay? Let's see if we can hit 300 likes, that would help me out massively. Usually these videos where I don't speak about specific stocks don't do as well, so I want to see if you guys want them. And in return, if we do break over 300 likes, I will release a video next week speaking about when I think you should buy a stock. I know you guys can do it, you guys are the best fans in the world, man. If you're new around here, please hit that red button, become a part of the family. We are all on the road to 10,000 subs right now, it is nuts. And lastly, please drop me a comment down below again, that helps me out massively, it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Just let me know what you think of the video, or when you sell your stocks. With all of that being said, let's get into the juicy information. When should you sell your stocks? I think that one of the first things we have to understand, okay, is that hindsight is 2020. Of course, looking at the S&P 500 here, of course it would have been a great idea to sell right here. And if you were to buy back down here, of course it would have been a great idea to sell right here, if you were to buy back here. It would even be a great idea to sell here, if you were to buy back here. It would have been fantastic to sell here if we go down to the short term. It would have been amazing to sell here, and buy back down here. So the simple answer is, you should sell right here, you know, right here at the very top. But nobody knows where the top is. It is that simple. Nobody in this world knows where the top is. On the five day chart, okay, you should have sold here and you should have bought here. Technically, you should have sold here and you should have bought here. You should have sold here, you should have bought here. You should have sold here, you should have bought here. You get the picture? If anybody tells you that they know the exact best time to sell a company or a stock or an ETF, whatever it is, it's downright lies, they really don't unless they have some sort of insider information. Now today I am going to focus more so on specific companies as opposed to ETFs. And that's going to bring me on to my first point because I am actually selling a stock for the first time since I've started investing. And that company is on the screen, it is Eastman Chemical. And I will show you my position in them, I own two shares, I'm up 2.29%. So why am I selling these guys? Simply put... When I bought into these guys, I was a new investor, okay? I did my analysis, I thought I did my due diligence. At the time, I really liked the look of this company. But upon, you know, learning what I know now, becoming a little bit smarter in this game, I don't like the look of them whatsoever. So the reason that I personally am selling is because of mistakes that I made when initially analyzing a stock. I won't get too into this company, that's not what today's video is about, but I am selling them. And I will show you some proof on the screen right now. I will click sell. My two shares, review order, send sell order. So when market opens today, I will no longer own Eastman Chemical. So the first reason has nothing to do with, you know, how much the stock goes up or down. It has nothing to do with if you've lost a certain amount or if you've made a certain amount. It has nothing to do with any of that. It has to do with you. And I think it's important in this game to be able to admit when you made a mistake, when you didn't actually do due diligence, even when you thought you did. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. And that is why I'm selling this company. I just believe that there is much better places I can put the money that I have in this company. So if you're like me and you're relatively new to investing, keep in mind I'm only in just over three months, I would highly advise you to go back and have a look at the first few companies you bought 
reevaluate them and see if you still feel the same way. The second reason I believe you should consider selling a stock is if the company's long-term fundamentals and outlook have changed. I'm sure you all remember this. Warren Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway, sells US airline shares. He sold all of his airline shares at an absolutely massive loss. And the reason he sold these airlines was because of the virus and that it's going to change the world we live in forever, especially in regards to travel and airlines. It is a blow to have essentially your demand dry up, he said. It is basically that we shut off air travel in this country. So the reason Buffett sold was not because he was at a loss, it was not because of anything like that. It was because he's seen the long-term fundamentals of the airline industry as a whole completely change. You know, we're used to these packed planes flying thousands, tens of thousands of time a day, full to the brim, people squished up next to each other. That's what we're used to seeing, and that's what airlines are used to doing, and that's how they've made their money forever. For a considerable period of time going forward, that's not going to be the case. Their fundamentals have changed. They won't be allowed to have people squished up next to each other regardless. It doesn't matter how many screenings they do. It doesn't matter if they are 100% certain that nobody on board has the virus. It's not going to be allowed. Now, I am a big believer in the airline industry. I will pop up my two investments as of right now in Delta and Southwest. So I don't share this particular view to Buffett, but it still stands. This is what he sees and that's why he sold. So I can act as a sort of counter argument to this point, okay? You can and potentially should sell if an industry or if a company's long-term fundamentals and outlook have changed. It doesn't necessarily mean that you should or you have to. I completely understand what's happening in the airline world, but I still, as a long-term investor, believe in them. I don't see a world without airlines. They have so much backing from the government. More flights are taken off every single day. I still believe in the long-term outlook. So again, I don't think there is 100% a time that you definitely should sell your stocks. These are just times that you should potentially consider selling your stocks. Okay, the next thing I want to speak about is hype stocks or spec stocks. I recently made an update video on that saying that I will consider buying them. Keep in mind, I'm considering. I'm not definitely doing it. I'm not advising anyone to do it. They are a very high risk company. But in the video, I said that if they drop somewhere below 350 and $4, I would consider opening a position. Now, keep in mind that this position I'd be open is the exact opposite of pretty much every other company I own on this phone in my portfolio. Everything I've invested in so far is for the long term. I want to hold on to these companies for years and years, decades and decades. Not, on the other hand, would be a company I want to get in, I want to take a certain amount of money, or else I'm risking a certain amount of money. So I believe if you're getting into a short term investment, or a spec stock, or a hype stock, whatever you want to call it, you should have exit plans, okay? So when should you sell? Either when you make a certain amount of money, or when you lose a certain amount of money. Say for example, I was to buy that at $3.50. I would be looking to sell somewhere between six and seven dollars. That would be my personal plan. I know some people are saying 10, 15 dollars. Some people wanna hold them for years. That would be my personal plan. I'm looking to get somewhere between 80 to 100% of my money back. And that is when I would sell. And on the other hand, I would only be willing to let that drop down as low as about $2.50 before I would sell at a loss. So you know, risking just less than 30%, but that is where I would sell. No exceptions. So simply put, I believe if you're going in on a shorter time frame and you want to make a certain amount of money, you should have an exit plan to sell when you're in the money and when you're losing money. So this is very different to a long-term investment. Like when I buy Pepsi, yeah, I'm not thinking, okay, I'm gonna sell at $264 when I've doubled my money. And I'm not thinking I'm going to sell them if I lose half my money and they fall down to 65 ish dollars. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking I'm gonna buy these guys and I don't really plan on selling them until I absolutely have to, you know, when I'm retiring. It goes back to what I said at the start of the video, all investments are not created equal. So a quick recap on when I think you should consider selling a stock, okay? One is when your analysis was simply put, not good enough, which is what happened to me with Eastman Chemical. Two is when the company's long-term outlook and fundamentals have changed, it is worth considering selling, regardless of if you have made or lost money. If you don't believe in them in the long-term anymore, don't hold them. And third, if it's a spec stock or a shorter term investment, have an idea of how much money you're willing to gain and lose before you sell. Now I wanna speak about some times that I don't think you should sell stocks, okay? Because this gets brought up quite a bit as well. So we're back having a look at the S&P 500. If you're on YouTube, if you look at the news, you are absolutely bombarded by people telling you that you should be selling your stocks. People were telling you to sell your stocks here, 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 here. People are trying to sell your stocks now. There's no way the market can keep going up. There's absolutely no way whatsoever. People are always so pessimistic telling you to sell everything you own because you will get it at a cheaper price. Now, I understand. Everybody wants to catch the bottom. If you 
by all of your companies down here as opposed to up here somewhere in the long term that investment is going to make you an awful lot more money so i really do understand it's so attractive i wish i knew where the bottom was i would sell everything and wait for it but i'm not a magician i can't tell the future i'm not a time traveler man okay so i don't think that you should sell a company just because it's gone down in value and it may continue to go down further. A quote I use on the channel quite a lot, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. If we go back to a five year stock chart, okay, here we can see a very sharp decline, about 17%. Should you have sold all of your stocks here and got in here? If you're a time traveler, yes. Should you have got really scared here and thought, oh, it's gonna keep going down forever and sold everything? I don't believe so, why bother? Because look, it made all-time highs. It's already back to where it was. I think that if you try to time the market, you're playing a very, very dangerous game and most people won't see the benefits. Should you sell a company because it is at a loss, okay? This is one that so many people deem to be true. They think if that company has lost money, it's inevitably going to keep going down forever. They get very afraid, okay? Let's look at a company like Facebook, okay? There would have been an awful lot of people afraid here. You're seeing a company like Facebook who is down over 32%. Facebook, this isn't some little company, it's a massive company who in the space of a month went down over 32%. So many people would have been afraid. And look, it's quite clear to see a lot of people did sell their shares. That is why it's gone down. But what happened? It's come back up. It's made all time highs, literal all time highs. Just because a company goes down in value, does not mean that you should sell them by any means. In fact, that is probably the worst thing you can do. Unless the long term fundamentals and outlook have changed, it doesn't mean anything. Let me show you an example of a stock, my worst performing company, Wells Fargo, okay? They're still down very close to 50%, okay? Down 47-ish percent. They fell down as much as very close to 60%. As of right now, I'm down very close to 19% in this company. Am I going to sell? No. Do I believe the long term outlook has changed? No. Do I believe the short term outlook has changed? Most certainly yes, but just because I believe it could be another, you know, tough six months, three months, a year, whatever it's going to be, I fully 100% believe there will be a stage where these guys pay me back a considerable amount of money. And I could be completely wrong, you know, something could come out, the long term outlook could change, these guys could never recover and I lose money, and that's just the way it is. Look, you're playing with the stock market, you know what I mean? You can lose your money, it's that simple. And I guarantee, if you are to invest for 20, 30, 40 years, you more than likely will lose money at some stage. But the point still stands, okay? Just because a company has been hit very hard and their value has gone down an awful lot, does not necessarily mean that you should sell them. Again, if the fundamentals are in place, if you still believe in them, if you still believe in your analysis, stick with it. So guys, I apologize that I am not able to give you any definitive answer in regards to when you sell your stocks, but that is simply because there is none. And please do remember, as always, I am not a financial advisor. Always form your own thoughts and opinions, and I genuinely mean that. I don't want anybody to spend any money or lose any money because of what I speak about on video. And also, guys, the merch is coming soon. I'm working really hard. I am just waiting on more samples to come. I want to make sure it is quality, and obviously, everything's been slowed down a little bit because of what's going on in the world, because of the virus. And as well, my distributor is in the US, because most of you guys watching right now are from the US, so I want you guys to have the fastest possible shipping time. So for me and the other guys in Europe, the shipping is going to be a little bit longer. Generally though, it still should be less than a week. But as of right now, I'm sure you all understand, things can be a little bit delayed. But I will have this store up and running as soon as possible. I can't wait to see you guys in these hoodies. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, if you did, please smash that like button. I'm very interested to see if this video can do well. If it does, I will keep making more videos like this as opposed to just stock related videos. I appreciate you all so much. Please subscribe if you're new around here. We're on the road to 10k, baby. We're going to smash it. I know we are because you guys are the absolute the best in the world i appreciate you all so much have a fantastic day i will see you for tomorrow's video peace